Anyway, on with the sport, please. Uh, right, before I do this, I'm sorry, I'll do this, then we must talk Jack, because um, what a predicament. What, you know, he, can he sleep at night thing? What do I do here? Do I stay with the villa? Mm. They've given me a brilliant contract, my boyhood club, or do I go to say, not just big bucks, but to go and, you know, and seriously mm. conquer Europe and probably win the Premier? It's not easy, is it? No, no. I, I, it's a big decision he's going to make, but it's, it's, he's going to probably make the right decisions for himself. So the thing going for Aston Villa, that he's an Aston Villa fan. So he might say, no, no wait a minute. They're going to give him a huge contract, I should imagine, uh, which which uh, secures Aston Villa. Um, and for all parties, you know, everyone will be happy if it does go ahead. I mean, I'm sure the supporters might be for Aston Villa because they want to keep Jack Grealish. But Villa himself, they get good money for him. And Jack Grealish, obviously, if he does move on, he would get a, a great contract to Man City. So everybody would be happy. But I, I really hope that he can stay. I, I'd be great mm. if Jack Grealish come out and said, no, I'm, I'm staying at Villa. This is this is my club. And then hopefully the, the owners or whoever it is say, well, let's build a team around Jack. Let's get two or three players in. Let's really have a go. Because, yeah. you know, potentially they, they could... Be, be a huge club. I mean, they are a big club anyway, but they could they could mm. probably um, try and break into that top six, top four. When you look at Aston Villa, what they achieved last season, the manager, the owners, how ambitious they've been this season in the transfer market. Wendy, I think, is a fabulous player. I was actually looking, hoping that um, Manchester City would have went for Wendy last last season when Norwich got relegated. Um, I think he's a top player. So the club are going forward. The club are ambitious. So I don't think Jack's going to be desperate to leave. I've got to be honest. I think he loves the club. He's shown that loyalty to the football club. So I actually feel Manchester City are going to have to play, pay top money because Jack won't put in a transfer request. He's not going to ruffle any feathers. I think Manchester City, if they value um, Jack Grealish at 100 million, which I think that's what Villa value at, they're going to have to pay the whole lot because is it worth 100? It's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, he's a fantastic player. Um, I would I would say it's a bit steep, but I think that's you know if you knock on someone's door and say I want to buy your house and it's not up for sale, you're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium. And I think that's the case with Jack Grealish. You know I think he's happy at the club, he, he's happy with the manager, he's happy with his teammates, and he's playing well and he's loved by the fans. So he's not in a rush to leave. But Manchester City have obviously earmarked him as their top priority. So I think that they're going to have to pay above 90 million, and it could be in and around 100 million. But if the deal happens, he's a top player. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.